Greetings everyone, in this video I'll <clears throat> demonstrate how to perform a forced DPF regeneration for Volvo V50. For this, um, the car is not enough. You need a, a laptop and a, a Vida device. Vida dice. You can buy this on eBay or simply, well, go to someone who has the device and can help you with the, this process. We have this problem and uh, the car doesn't appear to start the regeneration on, on itself. I'm not sure what is causing this, but um, it says currently it's in, in a good state. But we want to force the regeneration because if we go to the vehicle communications and uh, we have all these readings okay uh, let me start the car now we have the readings right um, to, to find them basically just go to the vehicle communications on the center and on the side um, you just find the parameters yeah. and and just add these so you will be able to see so to perform all this you must go to advanced and then find uh, this one combustion of suit particle strap Double click this, and you get uh, this window. And at the bottom here, you must select one. And you get all these these warnings. Make sure you read them. Basically, a car should be like outside. You can double click on the this icon. It shows the pressure we previously looked. Okay, let's hide this. I have to close it with the X. Next, let's click yes. You get another window with more information how the process will work and uh, when it starts the warm up, the car will rev up to 4000 rpm and uh, the particle filter will increase the temperature to 600 degrees high. And after that, it must cool down to 100 Celsius degrees. So let's click continue. It, we have this warning. It will get really hot. It should be outdoors, not in the garage or some somewhere else. And you go to this thing, double click it. Gives you this window. And you have to press start. Regeneration in process. Since we have the diagnostics open, yeah. it started. Regeneration in process. Car went to almost 3000 revs. And it will continue for this like for five minutes. You can't actually see any smoke coming out of the exhaust, but it might, and it's getting hotter and hotter. Okay, as you can see, I turned on the sensor, and the temperature is rising. The monitoring software shows it. It should go up to 600. Currently, it's 253. Still climbing. Almost 350. It's quite hot outside today. It's 28 degrees. It's summer.
360 degrees. And it's up to 520. Almost 550. Still going. Five sixty. Five seventy. You can actually feel the heat coming into like it. Thanks for the car. 585. Well, I wonder, will it reach 600? 591. The pressure increased a bit. Six oh, six hundred, six hundred five, six hundred seven. HPA is around 40. When it started, it was around 12. Last time after after finished, it was around 20. This Volvo uh, doesn't need an extra fuel additive. It's just a DPF. 632. The temperature is dropping. The car is still revving.
finished. Okay. I'll check the after editing how long it took. It's around more than five minutes actually. Ten. And you can see the temperature is dropping. And the pressure is around 17, 18 HPA after this. 659. So it should come back down to 100. Update. Um, after performing the, the forced regen cleaning, looks like it's gone for now. Let's hope it helps. Let's do it read all. Doesn't appear anymore, just this deep damper position fault, which I'll have to fix later. So, guys, um, let's hope you found it useful um, watching this tutorial. Uh, once again, you will find this uh, function in advanced and uh, combustion suit particle trap. If you have any questions about this, um, about Volley 50 diesel with DPF. Just leave a comment down below if this video helped, hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing for my channel. Thanks for watching.